she chose to start being a little violent last night. 9, 9.30, I come down to check on the cow and you know, either give a bottle to him or split one because yeah, the other one's laying right there. Since that one's mama ain't milking real good yet. But she is. She's milking really good. But she's starting to be a bitch. Ty got two and a half pints of milk out of this one. And then put the calf on her and snuck the two and a half pints to the other one. And this one just about stomped the stud of her calf. And right now she's about to get a little, yep, she's going to get a little correction. Sorry about the interruption. Ten seconds later, she is standing like a good girl with both feet back where he can access everything. And he's back to eating. So, anyway. And she's going to figure this out. Okay, this is like my... Well, these last, last clip is like my fourth try for the morning. Um, Wade and Piper Doug both thought maybe we were going to put tarps across that. Right there. Now, a couple issues I have with that. One is... She's either going to stick her head over the gate or she's going to try to stick her head under the gate. <clears throat> and then, you know, whatever else. And that also blocks our view of the rest of the two-year-old pen, or most of it, from the cameras. So we're going to do something this morning. I hate to do it, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, that cow and that calf. We'll go over below where 132 is with the other cow and calf. And they will cohabitate over there for a little while. I don't like putting a two-year-old in with one of the older cows like that. But that's the best alternative because if I put this one over there, she's just going to try to take that other calf anyway. i got to pair them up somewhere. And maybe that'll give her a chance to figure it out. Another option, what we've done before, is we'll take a couple of panels and put in, and we've actually had this this small pen we've actually had in three different pens. <clears throat> Not always because we had to, because we needed to, right? Um, the issue with making a small pen, I mean, the plus to it is she can't get away from the calf. He's right there on her ass all the time, and they'll bond somehow um, the issue with it is if she really didn't want to bond and wanted to be a real bitch she'd stomp the shit out of the calf because she can't get away from it and yes it does happen honestly in my lifetime I can only remember burying one calf because of that and doctor and a couple and this doesn't happen very often I mean we get one of these like this that's not even once a year. I mean, probably once every five years. And she's actually been pretty good considering. You know, she's letting him eat. For the most part, till last night and this morning. Usually they won't even let him eat. Calf gets within five feet of him and they're striking out at him to kick him in the head. <clears throat> but I think he's done eating, so I'm going to let her loose. And go on with... Figuring out what the rest of the day is really going to bring. Our mornings and evenings. And she gets water and she gets okay. But she's got one hell of a concoction for green, so it takes me a good five minutes to mix it all, so she'll eat it. But I have to sit here because those bitches can reach through these and eat her grain. And we're gonna have a big day again because we're gonna get her up. We're gonna sling her and get her up. And she got a five hour energy yesterday. She's not gonna be happy with me this morning because when she gets her grain and I get her to drink, I'm gonna give her another shot of B. Um, partially suggested by the vet, too. So. At least she's alive. She's not dehydrated. She's getting electrolyte powder in her grain, too. Hi, Curly. Hi, Curly. 
Ay. Yeah, 132 getting some breakfast this morning. Got to finish figuring the logistics of the day. And the dumb twit at the other end of the barn, she was actually just letting her calf nurse here a couple minutes ago when I was over there. So, going to be a fun day no matter what. An advantage to having them somewhat halter broke. She's not leading the best. It's he's being slow. And at the moment, he's got his brace off. And... And he's knocked all over a couple times, but I was pushing him. Oh, oh, what all's in here? Yeah. It's not your job to check stuff out. It's your job to go with mommy. Keep following mom. Dogs? No. Yeah. Yeah, she's laying there. You're just going to keep going. Keep following mom. And there we have it. Now we see what happens. They'll cohabitate anyway. And yeah, not a comfortable position. And unfortunately, there's not enough bed pack underneath. Oh, here we go. I haven't got you any zoomies to speak of. And that wasn't a whole lot for zoomies. But a little bit, because, see, that poor little girl's never seen another calf before. It's all right, Blake. It's all right. Good okay. Girl. Yeah. Let's see what else will bring you.
the vitamin B complex. So I pissed off and then she decided to drink water before I got her hooked up. Oh, there you have it. And uh, Damn, almost slipped off. And I wished I could have grabbed the camera and, and looked over here with it. Because uh, as soon as we started picking her up, she stretched her neck out and got her mouth full of oat hay. She's been chewing on it ever since. Didn't skip a beat. Uh, oh, her legs ain't got a lot of feeling from laying for so long. So the plan is... Rub them down good, get some circulation going with the towels. And Becky's got a, a uh, yeah, same same one the chiropractor uses on us. She bought it from the chiropractor when she worked for him. It's from the chiropractor. Everything I just said, she's repeating. But uh, put the little thing on there and see if we can vibrate some life back into her legs. Put it in an OB bag just to keep it clean. It's a rechargeable one, so. And she says she's bleeding. Well, she probably is from laying bare on the concrete. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't. She scuffed around enough, and the concrete underneath in this section is rough like it is up there. That's why we're going to, one reason we're going to move her, hope we get her on a little more bed pack, because it is a little heavier up higher. I thought about, uh, we got some brand new horse stall mats. I thought about a couple of those in here, but she'd rub herself on those too, because, you know, no friction shit. So anyway, and I know it's going to be a long video. She's not happy now. She can't reach her oats. That's why God made OB <laughs> But this is what we're doing. And Ty is being very careful, just in case that clamp slips. There ain't nothing I can do if it does. And she's on the side that's not hooked as well, so she can see it. Look at you. Look at and you, pretty girl. Should have been hooked a little shorter on the strap, but once you're up here, it's a little late. I know she's got a little use of her front. It's the hind that she don't have much use of. But hopefully, get that going. Yes. Just busy trying to get some feeling back to her so she can hopefully use those legs. And time to set the lock on to travel. This thing's starting to creep. So, in case you're wondering, yes, there's two reasons I'm sitting here. One, in case it creeps, and two, if shit happens, yeah, I can't do anything from out there until I move this. Because if something happens, if the clamp slips off her hips, I still got her other end. I can move her if I need to get her off of somebody. But if I'm out there, I can't do that. So, anyway. Yeah, this is going to be our afternoon project. Still want to get some hay up on the deck. It's, right now we're throwing it up four high to get it up there. It's going to be five high tonight, probably. It's been a couple minutes, but she's trying to move the other leg a little bit. And something, see if you can see it. That scared me. I had this resting on my leg, and oh. the handle started vibrating. She got scared because she got vibrated on. I'm scared. Um, you notice there's a teeth there that's not the same color as the closer one. That's one that was stuck between her toes. It is very, very well bruised. I've got water blisters. It has a couple little water blisters on it. Yeah, so you tell them, Mama. We have to take care of that. Ready. Just before I turn the camera on. She had a mouthful of hay looking at me chewing on it. Right now she's not happy. Probably because she's really starting to feel that leg and it probably hurts. And I honestly can't imagine what that clamp feels like. But you know, there's really not much other way to do it. We do somewhere have a set of 8 or 10 inch wide rubber straps made for doing this, but they're very, very old. We acquired them from someone else. I don't know that we've used them before. I will, yeah. Just set the tub over there. And our old sling I had, had a show cow that went down when I was you know, a teenager. 
And we made one out of old fire hose and canvas that was a one-piece deal that worked really well. And we could leave it tied on them. Take twine and just tie it at the top so it stayed on. It worked really good. But, you know, that one's been long gone. And this is what we got to do with. She's tired, or just mad, or all the above. And I'm not sure if she's sinking or I think she is. I better have to start up and lift her up. You were going. I'll bring it in. That's so what I'm doing first, Dad. People can see it. Do it? I'm popping the blisters first. Oh, you're popping the blisters first? I thought she was doing No, that. I have to pop them first because they're closing that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now you have the answer to that. She's popping the blisters first so she can open up the teeth and get the mastitis medicine up there. Not that she has mastitis because she doesn't, but without the teeth. Precaution, though. That's the best medicine to go up there. It'll be gone before she has calf. You don't have any milk to go yet. But then on the other hand, she could have, and that's not there. Sleep or just knowing the difference. She can't feel it. Well, she's probably still numb. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. No, I will stop the video. Just because we don't know what else to do. Okay. do you want to, and that one's side, been damaged. Um, she's putting some mastitis medicine up the teat right now. I just can't get where you can see it. And then she's going to uh, carefully pop the blisters that are on it and smear it with bag bomb. So what? Oh, you're popping the blisters first? I thought she was doing the other first. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now you have the answer to that. She's popping the blisters first so she can open up the teeth and get the mastitis medicine up there. Not that she has mastitis because she doesn't, but with that teeth being damaged the way it is, it ain't going to hurt to have some antibiotic in there. It'll be gone before she has calves. You don't have any milk started yet. But then on the other hand, she could have, and now it's not there. You know, her body could have sucked that up since... The freaking worms were eating everything else. Not sure if she's asleep or just enjoying a different position. Her eyes blink a little once in a while. Well, I don't know what all we got for video for sure, but she's in a different spot. She was right there. Well, right here. Up, and she's got about a foot of material underneath her. Doesn't mean she's not going to kick that all out. Uh -oh. That was a cut hitting rock. She bottom. just started chewing her cud. So that's a good thing. She didn't want that hay, but like I said, but she's chewing her cud. Well, here, I'll give you an idea where she was. There's where that is. And that's where her hay was. So, yeah, she was laying there. Oh, so, anyway. And we're going to. So Put something know. here so little yahoos don't reach through. I told you, the goddamn panel. But I got now, last night. I know. And now I got to get back out of here. All the gates are in the way.